I have Minnesota chef hands, which means that about this time of year, they're usually pretty cracked and usually red. I will never have delicate lady fingers. <laughs> I feel a sense of responsibility with my story that I've lived to show other women who want to be themselves and, and lead that way. I want to show them that, that you can do that. Some of my favorite memories really go back to sitting around the table at my grandparents' house, having a beautifully set table and food that smelled good. Yeah. All right, everyone, here's the pot roast. Then the food was like the thing that brought everyone together and start conversation and connecting. So Karen, this is your great grandma's recipe yes. for these rolls, yeah. which would have been served, served at this here. table yeah. for yeah. generations. Yeah. I think the biggest challenge is remaining confident. I felt self-conscious for a while because I just didn't seem to be in the typical tough chef mode. And honestly, I think that's why people maybe overlooked me right away. A purveyor would come in and walk past me and be like, who's in charge? The first couple of times when I wasn't as confident in my own leadership, I think it threw me off and I felt like an imposter. I think grit and, and tenacity can be in all shapes and forms and sizes. My next step is to open a restaurant where I can set the tone for a healthy staff environment and also stand for that deeper sense of hospitality and to bring those things together around food that we have here in Minnesota. I want to be an example to other women that leadership can look different ways. Your story can happen differently. You have permission to be who you are in that and to lead the way that you are.